Detroit's voters destroyed the theory that a white candidate could never win there, easily electing Mike Duggan as mayor. He has a plan for change. You know, he's talking about changing the way we do things, the way we work in Detroit. Duggan won over an electorate that's 83 percent black. I was not under any illusion about the racial division in this community or this country. Detroit hasn't elected a white mayor since 1970, when Richard Nixon was president. I have concluded that the time has come for action. Three Dog Night topped the charts. And Hawaii Five-0 was a hit show. Duggan was facing off against a fellow Democrat, the county sheriff. The white candidate was the one who convinced them that he had the right stuff to turn Detroit around. A former mayor went to jail on corruption charges. Detroit's poverty rate is at 40 percent, and it has $18 billion in debt. And Mike Duggan has built a reputation as a turnaround artist, a Mr. Fix-It. But he'll be forced to work under an emergency manager, appointed by Michigan's Republican governor to take control of the city's budget. Enough is enough. Let's stabilize and grow Detroit. Duggan will have to work with city residents and that manager, who trumps even the mayor's authority. There is no doubt that what we have in common is much more powerful than what divides us. Now, power is an interesting word because initially, Duggan's not going to have much. Anything that he does that costs money, like tearing down thousands of vacant homes, he has to get that emergency manager's approval. But that manager's term is likely up in September, Wolf. And the fact that Duggan took, say, the medical center with a $500 million deficit and turned eight years of profits may give him some standing with the governor to exert some more authority before then. I'd love to see Detroit turn around and uh, come back. It's a great, great city, as you well know. Yep. Chris Lawrence, thanks very much.